and gentlemen, give it up for Ty Nguyen. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, happy, happy BBA. Wow, I'm stuttering. Wow. Uh, I'm happy to be back here. Um, I forgot how nice this place is, so I feel severely underdressed right now. I feel like this is the closest thing I would get to speaking at the White House. Yeah. But I'm not into politics, I'm into pot and chicks. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I smoke a lot of pot, it helped keep me Asian. Without it, I'm Mexican. So, after I get high, I like to go out to the park and just chill, you know? Just walk around nature and stuff. Uh, one time, I was walking in the park high, minding my own business. And there was this little girl, she was about like this tall. She couldn't be any older than five years old. She was walking with her dad. And when she saw me, she pointed at me and then she went, No dad, it's the Mongolian that tried to attack Mulan. <laughs> and I couldn't even be mad at her because with this haircut, I do live Mongolian as fuck. This is a pillage your village cut. Look, no good guys in any films have this haircut. But she made me curious about Mongolian though. So I actually went home and I did some research on Mongolia. And I found out that Mongolia is the Texas of Asia. For real, it's true. Because in Mongolia, they have Mongolian grill. And here in Texas, we have Texas barbecue. So I bet you, when a Mongolian hang out with a Texan, they both come to the same conclusion that Oklahoma sucks. <laughs> you know, for that joke, I had to Google top 10 things that Texan hates. <laughs> Number one, of course, is Oklahoma. <laughs> um, Y'all can't guess what number two is. It's actually unsweet tea. Yeah, it's unsweet tea. Is that true? Do y'all hate unsweet tea? Yes. Yeah? You like diabetes? Okay. <laughs> and number three is even more surprising. You never guess number three. Number three is Asian male stand-up comedian. <laughs> Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I've been doing stand-up comedy for eight years now. So that makes me a professional DoorDash driver. Uh, thank you for clapping at that. I don't know why y'all. Y'all do DoorDash? Y'all, yeah? Y'all order DoorDash? The bad thing about DoorDash is, you know there's people that order DoorDash and they don't tip? Yeah. Not tipping a DoorDash delivery driver is saying, Hey, I know you're struggling to make in meat, and I could care less. <laughs> Y'all know the stereotype that Asians don't tip? That's why I only dine at Asian restaurants. They know what's up. I actually own a house. I'm a mortgage owner, believe it or not. With, uh, I drive for DoorDash. And that's not good if you're a stand-up comedian. Because most comedians, 
before they make it in the business, they were either homeless or sleeping inside of a van. So y'all know what I need to do, right? Burn down a house, collect the insurance money, and start making Andrew Tate reaction videos. <laughs> Do y'all know who Andrew Tate is? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty popular. Yeah. Um, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm currently single, which I don't get at all. So puzzling why I'm still single. Y'all asking that y'all know why. It lied to me. Tell me why I'm still single. Yeah, it's so puzzling why I'm still single, right? I don't get it. Because I've been doing stand-up comedy, like I said, for eight years now. I mean, the ladies know that I'm top 37 Asian male stand-up comedian in Pugerville, Texas. Yeah, hell oh, yeah, top 37, baby. Asian male stand-up comedians. I mean, just a thought of that alone should make any woman drizzle in her underpants. Some of y'all are wet right now. I can smell the moisture in there. So I tried online dating, I downloaded all the dating apps, and I messaged every single woman on the apps, and only one of them messaged me back. And that message said, never message me again, ill. You look like the crib keeper. I had to Google Crip Keeper. <laughs> and let me tell you, I am so pissed off at my body right now. <laughs> He's been giving me the Crip Keeper for four years now. <laughs> One of my best friends, he tried to make me feel better about having this face, so, so he gave me some dating advice. He told me, no, Ty, you're a cool guy with a nice personality, but with that haircut, you look kind of intimidating to women. So maybe before you approach them, wear a hat. And once you earn their trust, you can take the hat off. <laughs> he just advised me to hatfish people. <laughs> and at first, I was pissed off about this advice because I thought, wow, it's very superficial. But then I thought about it again, and ladies, y'all do the same thing. But instead of hat, y'all wear makeup. And y'all might hate me for this, but I'm gonna be honest. Some of y'all without y'all makeup kind of look like zombies. <laughs> Which would go perfectly with my Crip Keeper dick. <laughs> my parents actually want me to give women the Crip Keeper dick? <laughs> it's true, yeah. Because they're very old and they want to have grandkids. So it's so embarrassing every time I see them now. Because every time I see my parents, my mom should be like, Ty, have you been busting nuts and stuff like we discussed? And I had to tell her, Mom, could you please tone down your language? We're in church right now. <laughs> Let me pray to Vietnamese Jesus to make this happen. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, 
Please help me find a woman that'll make my mom happy. And if she happened to be a Gemini, then please help me turn this home into a housewife. <laughs> I know you can do it, Jesus. It'll be just like turning wine back into water. <laughs> do we have any Gemini in the house tonight? No? Yeah? Wow, just one snotty guy. <laughs> hey, you better watch out for him. Um, but me personally, um, I only prefer to have intercourse with Mexican women. Yeah? Because with them, at least I know I'm getting my money's worth. Hey, just kidding. I don't pay for sex. I mean, Bitcoin, is that real money? <laughs> it's hard to find a, mix, a single Mexican woman my age because I'm 35 years old. All the Mexican women my age are grandmothers. <laughs> yeah, they're out there racing eight years old. Yeah, but hey, I don't mind taking care of, you know, the eight-year-old kid because I know within 10 years, I'm gonna need some house renovation. <laughs> yeah, I feel really bad saying that joke. Um, so, anybody here? Own a car. Make some noise if you own a car. Oh yeah. Make some noise if you put bumper stick on your car. All right. One poor person in the house. Well, just kidding. Uh, the reason why I brought that up, right? Because I was driving down the highway. And I saw this green Buick. This Buick have a bumper sticker that says, Peer Evil. <laughs> and next to that bumper sticker, is another bumper sticker that says, Fuck Cancer. And I don't know about y'all, but to me, those two stickers sound very contradictory. Because you can't be Peer Evil and hate cancer. If you appear evil, then you need a uh, cancer is the answer sticker. <laughs> and if you want to be more evil, have a sticker next to that that says, I voted for Greg Abbott. <laughs> And if you want to go to hell level of evil, have another sticker that says, Race that non-consensual baby. <laughs> you know Greg Abbott is known for uh, banning women in Texas from having abortion? But that's not the reason why I voted for him. <laughs> Just kidding, y'all. I don't vote. You can tell by my voice that I don't vote. Drink some beer. And I gotta say, I've been doing stand-up comedy for eight years now. So that means for eight years, I've been drinking nothing but PBR. Yeah. Anybody here, right, that drink PBR, or any other shitty beers, we all drink it because we have one thing in common. We damn show sure ain't drinking for the taste. Same way we don't eat booty for the taste. 
We do it due to insufficient funds. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Um, I don't eat booty. But I go on stage and I say that I eat booty to appeal to the youth of Austin, Texas. <laughs> yeah, because that's all they do now. They can't handle the problem of the war. So they stay home on their mama couch, pop Percocet, and eat booty. <laughs> like I said, I don't eat booty, okay? I don't. But, under one condition, if somebody pointed a gun to my head and they told me, Ty, you better eat this booty or else your brain is gonna be all over that pavement, I would rather eat a vegan booty over a cardboard booty. You agree? Yeah? Okay. You're not on board yet? All right, let me see if I can get you on board, okay? Let's just say I'm giving a woman a rim job. We all know what a rim job is, right? I'm not talking basketball here. Yeah? I'm giving her a rim job like right that. And she, she just got so into it, so into the rim job, you know, that uh, she got a little bit excited, and she, she just dropped a little bit of doo-doo in my mouth. I swam it. I swallowed that piece of doo-doo. And I know as disgusting as that sounds, I bet you that mixture of kale, quinoa, and broccoli is still a thousand times healthier than a Taco Bell Crunch Wrap taco. Oh yeah, I just converted some people. I bet you vegan poop tastes like a trail mix snack bar. <laughs> Thank you very much, Peter. I appreciate it.